As you may know, major drawback of simple and weighted moving average method is the need to continually carry a large amount of historical data. In this example of simple moving average, in order to forecast the future demands, you need to carry a large amount of historical data, which is very expensive. Please note that exponential smoothing method is the special case of weighted moving average. In other words, we select only the weight for the most recent observation or data. The weight for the other value are computed automatically, become smaller as the data grow older. This is the major difference between weighted moving average and exponential smoothing method. Exponential smoothing method need only three pieces of data to forecast the future. Number one, it need only uh, it needs the most recent forecast, which is FT minus one. Second, the actual demands that occurred for that forecast period, A T minus one. Finally, the smoothing constant alpha, which is desired response rate. Question here is the central premise of exponential smoothing is that more recent data is less indicative of future than data from the distant past, which is not true. Exponential smoothing method is based on that more recent data is more important and more indicative of the future than data from the distant past. You may wonder what is smoothing constant alpha? Smoothing constant alpha is determines the level of smoothing and speed of reaction to differences between forecast and actual demands. The value for the constant alpha is determined both by the nature of the product and by the manager's sense of what constituted a good response rate. So it's determined by time management. So it should be very subjective and strategic in nature. Please note that constant smoothing, smoothing constant alpha should be between 0 and 1. You have to choose between 0 and 1. Simply put, you choose large alpha, say, greater than 0.3 when demand is rapidly changing and choose small alpha say between 0 0.05 and 0 0.1 when demand is stable. For example, if a farm produced a standard item with a relatively stable demand, the reaction rate to differences between actual and forecasting demands tend to be small perhaps just 5 to 10 percent points. However, if a firm are experiencing growth, rapid growth, say trend item, it would be desirable to have a higher response rate, perhaps 15 to 30 percent point, to give greater importance to recent growth experience. So choose large alpha, when demand is rapidly changing, to the small alpha when demand is stable. But don't worry about it. Most cases, you are given constant alpha in the problem. Look at the for uh, formula of exponential smoothing closely. New forecast FT is equal to the previous forecast value, which is ft minus 1, plus a portion of the error or an adjustment, which is alpha times the most recent forecast error, which is at minus 1 minus ft minus 1. Since forecast is not perfect, we have to assume that there is forecast error, which is actual demands minus forecast value. 
And then, please note that in most cases, your initial forecasting value, which is F1, should be given. And then we have to assume, and if there is no specific information about initial value, we assume F1 equals A1, which is initial demand value. If there is specific information about forecast uh, initial value, then you have to use that information. Here is the example. We have four, week, four period of demand data, and we have to use the exponential smoothing with alpha point two to calculate the forecast value for period four. Assume the forecast for initial period is seven. Here is a specific information is given, so you have to use this information. Here is the seven. And then look at your formula. Ft equals Ft minus one plus alpha times At minus one minus Ft minus one. Using this formula from the second period, we have to calculate the forecasting value. Equal sign. What is Ft minus one in this case? Because we are forecasting F period two, Ft minus one in this case is F one. So click F one plus alpha is 0.2 times forecast error is A1 minus F1 then you want to copy this formula paste all the way to period 4 not from initial value, because we didn't put any formula here. Now we know that forecast value in week period 4 is 7.5 based on this exponential smoothing formula. Thank you.